Y'all don't want to do these things. Therefore, the Most High God has washed his hands with you. Right. Now you out here loose. Right. Now you out here loose. Read what you got. Bring it out. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place. He said he's going to go and return to his place. He ain't even worrying about you now because you done, you done disgusted the Most High God. Wake him up. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until you acknowledge who you are according to the Bible and acknowledge that you have done wickedness. Right. You done wickedness. You got to acknowledge that thing. Get James 9 to 5. You got to acknowledge that you are in the midst of iniquity. Right. That you are in the midst of sin. Right. That you must come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Right. You got to acknowledge these things. Not lean on your own understanding. Read what you got. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, and verse 5. Yep. We have sinned. We all sin, but it's about how you go acknowledge your sin and then come up out of that iniquity. Read. And have committed iniquity. Uh -huh. And have done wickedly. Uh -huh. We all done done wicked things. Read. And have rebelled. And we done all rebelled. That's why we went into slavery on slave ships. Right. Because our rebelliousness. But y'all don't want to talk about that. That's the past. Let that I didn't go in slavery. Yes, you did. That's and right. you're still in slavery right now to this day. That's right. To this day, you're still in the midst of your captivity. Right. Right. Keep reading. Even by departing from my precepts. Because that's what happened when you lean not on when you when you lean on your own understanding, not on the word of God. Right. You depart from your precepts of the most high God. Therefore, you don't know nothing. Right. Right. Therefore, your mind is, is off. Therefore, the things that you think you're doing right is wrong. That ain't right according to the Bible. Give me that in Romans. What's right? That ain't right according to the Bible. Every time we tell a brother what's good, what's this, and what's that, we show you what's good. That ain't good. Read what you got. The book of Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy. He say the laws of God is holy, read. And the commandments holy. And the commandments is holy, read. And just. And just. And good. And good. These things are right. These are the right things the black men are supposed to be doing to help build up the community. Right. This is what's going to show you who you are according to the Bible. This is how you bring forth real repentance. Get Ezekiel 18 and 30. Bring this is how you help yourself get to these good deeds that you all seek. Right. Because trying to be the, the, the next the next one on BET ain't going to get you there. Right. That ain't going to get you there. Celebrating these wicked holidays ain't going to get you there. Right. Robbing for presents to go on the damn Christmas tree ain't going to get you there. Right. Get out. Read what you got. The book of Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 30. Therefore will I judge you, O house of Israel. The blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, you go get judged. Right. You go get judged. Why not get judged on your good works right. instead? Read. That's right. Everyone according to his ways. Uh -huh. Say of the Lord God. Uh -huh. Repent. Repent. Repentance is what we're out trying to bring forth to the nation of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. Read. And turn yourselves from all, all of your transgressions. He's saying turn yourself from all your transgressions. You got to do these things. You really got to turn yourself from your e evil works. Read. Right. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. So iniquity will not be your ruin. You got to understand this. Get Jeremiah 7, 5, 25. You got to understand that iniquity is going to ruin you. Right. You're going to die. The wages of sin is death. Right. It's right. evident. The Bible speaks it and the other nations show it every day. He show it every day. Read what you got. Look at Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things. He say your iniquities. It's not, it, it, this is what it means by it will ruin you. It turns away what? Turned away these things. It turns away these things, read. And your sins have withholding good things from you. Your sins are holding good things from you. Right. Your sins. Not my sins, your sins. Right. The things you doing. The cigarettes you smoking, right. the whole murdering you doing, right. the prostitution you doing. That's what's holding you from these things. Read. Verse 26. For, for among my people are found wicked men. Among right. our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Oh, you can throw a rock and you go hit a wicked Negro. You can throw a rock in the middle, you go hit a, a wicked Negro. 
Why? Because we don't care about God's law and yeah. commandments. Right. You don't care. You don't care. You right. don't try to care. Right. You don't right. even consider. Right. Keep reading. They lay wait. They lay wait as he set up snares. They are set a trap. They catch men. Uh -huh. As a cage is full of birds, so are the houses full of the sea. You hear that? That's how these prison systems are. Right. They set these traps for y'all. They know y'all gonna go smoke the dope, try no. to sell the weed. They know, they know y'all gonna do this, try to sell the pills. They know that. These are traps set by the other nations right. so they can fill their prison system. Now you're like a cage full of birds. They got you. Got you. That's all you hear. Got you. Got right. another one. Got another one. These things are withholding you from your good things, your good deeds. Therefore, you must come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments and keep the law Bring with the up. best of your ability.